And now it's mixed tag team action featuring the little girls and the big men. This event is for one fall with a 10 minute time limit. In the red corner, from Richmond, Virginia, Diamond Lil. And her partner from Alexandria, Louisiana, Ricky Ferrara. In the blue corner, from Pensacola, Florida, Barbie Doll. And her partner from South Wales, Tony Charles. Team action continues. This time it's a mixed tag team bout. A big man and a little woman on a team as little Barbie Doll teams up with Tony Charles against Rick Ferreira and Diamond Lil. Alfred Neely, the referee. You know, I'd buy a ticket to go see these little gals fight myself. You know, they sometimes scratch one another's eyes out. They can move fast as we'll see when Alfred Neely calls for the bell. And that he does. Little Barbie Doll against Diamond Lil in the center of the ring now. what you call fighting fire with fire. Barbie doll not gonna lay back and let Diamond Lil work her over. She come right back. Diamond Lil know her way around in that ring, you know, and uh, you always, you know, you always got someone always coming around trying to knock the other person off and it's step over toe hold. She's got that leg hooked in that real good, boy. Step over to old once again. She could get counted out right in the position she's in right now, boy. Oh, Diamond Lil kicked Barbie Doll through the bottom strand of rope. There's her partner, Tony Charles, helping her back up to the ring apron. And Diamond Lil grabs her by the hair of the head and brings her inside. That'll take the wind out of the bed. A lot of punishment right here, there. Ernie. A lot of fans may not realize that they're small, but it still hurts just the same. And once again, a good example, as you see. Now, Barbie Doll tags in Tony Charles. That means that Rick Carrera must come in. See, the guys mix it up a little bit right here. Tony Charles takes his man right to the rope. Rick Ferrari has his upper hand right now. Tony Charles with a flying head scissor. Tony Charles from South Wales on Rick Ferrara. It's Tony Charles is one of the most fantastic athletes you want to see. You know, he's got an exceptional amount of spring in his legs. You know, he uses a lot of high-risk moves, you know. I'm dragged with Tony Charles. Head scissors by Ferrari. The little midget girls are already reminded us of the dream match. So a lot of fans have been asking about the midget girls coming in and midget men, but they won't be here in January. But we want to remind the fans at home just three more weeks for you to send in a letter, a dream match, a match that you would like to see. And the match that receives the most votes from your letters will be that match here on January the 6th taping. So you'll be able to see it. Send them to the television station in which you're watching. They'll forward us on to us for the tabulating. So just out three more weeks. There, drop kick by Tony Charles, but Rick Ferrer was waiting and goes into a Boston crowd. That's what I was saying about a high risk move. Charles tags in his little partner, Barbie Doll. She's challenging 
Rick Ferreira, but he'll have to leave, and Diamond Lil taking his place. The rule states in a mixed tag, once one girl make a tag to opponent, the other one must get out, whether they make a tag or not. Man cannot wrestle against the girl. Tony Charles over fast and swiftly to save his partner Diamond Lil. As Diamond threw Barbie Dial over to the far corner, there was Tony Charles. Whoa! A roundhouse right from Barbie Dial. Rick Ferreira now, and chained it into the ring, Barbie Dial, and it didn't work for that team, Ernie. Rick Ferreira started to duplicate what Tony Charles had done earlier for Barbie Dial, and she chained it into the ring and crossed him up. Upsy Daisy, Diamond Lil going down to Barbie Dial on top. for the victory. The mixed tag team match goes to Barbie Dahl and Tony Charles. We'll be back. Ted DiBiase versus Paul Arndorf after this word from Mid-South Wrestling.